Hey everyone, my name is Paige and I have my own website called Petite Pages Wayfaring Ways that allows me to be vulnerable and express my thoughts on traveling to certain countries just so you don't make the same mistakes I made. So this is my first time doing a video like this and it's a wild experience. This is the eighth video I've recorded because I am a perfectionist at times. <laughs> so hopefully this will be the last one I record, but there's just been some things on my mind. I feel like it's good for me to share it with people just so they learn from it because we're all in this together, right? We're all in this big earth, just trying to get through it one day at a time. So lately I've just been, I've been thinking about fashion. I really want to use this as a way to connect more with common humanity. And I don't want to look just into my culture, but other cultures around the world and just see what kind of beauty can be shown through the clothing that is created. And I feel like there are so many wonderful and high-end brands out there that not only support the designer, but people in the community, which is so important in these times because we hear stories of exploitation from Amazon workers, for example. And it's just, it's beneficial to support businesses that support people so they can have a chance at succeeding in life whatever that may be for them. And they fortunately don't require you to pay an arm and a leg on like Dolce & Gabbana or Louis Vuitton. And fun fact, you know, you see celebrities on the red carpet wearing these items, more often than not, they're not paying for those items. Those items are given to them for free. They're basically used as this like free publicity. So people are like, oh my gosh, EXO celebrity wore this. Now I want to wear this. Even though at the end of the day, you're probably not paying for the quality, you're m more likely paying for the brand. And at least in my opinion, I think it's best to buy for the quality, not the brand, if that makes sense. And also these brands can be very harmful for the environment. There was a story that came out on how Louis Vuitton burns their bags if they don't sell them out because they want to solidify themselves as this luxury brand. And if they don't sell the bags, or sorry, if they put the bags on sale, then they wouldn't be considered this luxury brand anymore, which is pretty disturbing to me. It's like you're willing to sacrifice the environment for the status that probably won't matter a million years from now. What are you doing? <laughs> and also these celebrity brands like Fenty and Ivy Park have been accused of like taking advantage of workers in other countries and barely paying them minimum wage. Again, is that really where you want to put your money in these times? And so through what I'm about to share with you, through the purchases I made, I really hope that this is only a one-time haul video because these fabrics are supposed to last for a while. I mean, I, I don't really like buying a bunch of clothes that are only worn one or two times because of poor quality. Again, that's just not very good for the environment. That's fast fashion at its finest. And girl, we're not, or boy, person, whoever you're called, we're not here to support that. We're here to support good things and environmentally friendly things. And so my grandma always taught me to never buy something for full price, always buy it on sale. And so fortunately, there are sites out there that do allow you to take advantage of sales. So you're not paying full price for something. And also there are so many opportunities for sales like during Christmas and July, that's usually when these companies want to cleanse their warehouses. And so they put a bunch of things for sale on their website. That's how I bought a lot of the products that I'm wearing now. And also we live in a time of inflation. Like girl, who can afford to buy a $2,000 dress? I can't, I'll be upfront with it. And anyway, so the site I recommend for these large discounts on luxury brands is Otrium. They offer up to 75% of end of season clothing and want to make sure that every piece of clothing is worn so it doesn't end up in the trash can. And also I think end of season is a bad way to put it because if you like it, it's always in season, right? And so another site is Forte Lux, which doesn't offer as big of discounts, but it still follows that same mission of Otrium where they want to make sure people can wear these brand or wear these clothings that the designers created. They may be end of season. These designers may want to clear these clothing for like the next sort of designs that they're going to create next. And so 
The maximum amount I paid was Pat Bo, which was $168. That was on sale, 50% off. And so the rest of the clothing I'm wearing is $100 or less. So I want to make sure you're getting the best of the best. So without further ado, let's get started. The shirt from Anthony Thomas Molino is called Havana Green, which is quite fitting for the video and mission, isn't it? The fabric is so soft, it feels like I'm wearing a blanket. It's certified fair trade and is made with pure Peruvian cotton. That's all I could find on the website. Sorry, I couldn't say more. I love the pastel colors that are featured on both the outer known sweater and t-shirt. They're great to pair with jeans or shorts of any kind. They also include many socially impactful facets like partnering with environmentally friendly organizations, using preferred fibers like organic cotton, and ensuring that fair labor practices are shown throughout their supply chain so these textile workers can put their children through school. I have Irish ancestry and my grandpa made sure we never forgot it, so of course I wanted to support an Irish business. The unique design from Aaron's sweater market is appealing and it fits so well over the shoulders. This is great if you're walking around in the fall where it's not too cold for a jacket but still pretty chilly that you'll need some type of covering. They specialize in creating their clothing with wool, which produces no microplastics, and is sustainable since wool grows back on sheep and goats every year. This differs from other fabrics like acrylic and polyester that are refined from fossil fuels. The stress from 33 Fusion clearly makes such a statement, and the off-shoulder look is something that's always been appealing to me. If you're looking to go to a nice restaurant for the night, I recommend wearing this. So I found this shop at the Cambridge side mall and was drawn to how it was not only a store, but a museum. It had cultural artifacts and books on display along with unique African fragrances. This shop embraces black hood around the world. So this is a must if you want to support a black and woman run business. Papo has so many vibrant colors to choose from. So if you mostly visit tropical destinations, this happy go lucky feel is a must. I really love the mix of colors in this bodysuit. It's like a collage and reminiscent of Monet's Water Lilies painting. Also, as a graduate from an all-women's college, I love supporting women-run businesses, and Patricia Bonaldi, the founder of Petbo, has a really inspiring story. She even created an all-girls school in her hometown in Brazil to teach female artisans how to embroider, sew, and hand bead. These sandals have such a funky design, which I feel like is a great fit for if you're feeling extra adventurous as you're walking around the city center. I know Tom's is a bit controversial because in the past they had a buy one give one model where if you bought one of their shoes they would donate a pair to people in other countries. However, this method has been found to make people more dependent on these brands from western countries instead of creating the skills for a long term career, creating more genuine shoes that connect more with their culture for instance. So what they do now is that they donate one third of their profits to mental health initiatives which I think is more sustainable. Sperry is such a tried and true brand. Walking around with my old Sperry's were so comfortable since they were so easy to slide in and they could really match with anything due to their neutral colors. I have another pair that although is dirty on the front, has lasted me for 5 or 6 years and hasn't broken apart at all. So if you're looking for comfy travel shoes, these are the ones to buy. The majority of their upper is made with recycled materials and they saved 98 million gallons of water from 2018 through 2022. 